Merrick, wait! Stay away, Ryudo. Ryudo, I gave in to Valmar. No, to my own greed. I'm nothing but a weak man. Smile for me, Ryudo. Melfis? You're back to normal. For what did I try to become strong? What? Just what have I been doing until now? Everything has been in vain. Melfis, don't die. You're back to normal, right? Ryudo, I'm glad I got to see you again. My beloved brother, listen no. closely. The divine sword you are searching for is to the east along the granite cliffs. For saving me from this vile curse. Ryudo. Thank you. No! Oh. Melvis, don't die! Please! Please don't die! Melvis! Yeah, you just say keep away! The horns don't just disappear! Ryudo? Oh no! <laughs> Ryudo! <laughs> she believes she has faith in his soul. And she's right too. Yeah. As I said, the horns don't just disappear once you've finished the host. Because nothing came and consumed it. My lady wasn't there to consume it. It is troubling to take pleasure in the death of another, even in the death of one who has brought such madness to the world. Morpheus, you are able to damn yourself no further. May your soul find rest. Perhaps now we may find rest as well. No, you don't see. Melvis is dead, but this doesn't change a thing. Not a damn thing! We were never free from danger. We only felt that way because Melvis was here to protect us. We thought we were safe as long as he was here. But you see, we forgot how to rely on ourselves. We gave up the responsibility for our own lives. Wise words, Garson. And when we lost the one we depended on, we blamed all of our problems on him, Melfis. Yes, it was Ryudo who ran away. But we have been running away every day since. Our lives have always been our our responsibility. And now we must see this. But the legend of the idol was wrong, and it was really Valmar. What should we believe in? Fool, you haven't heard a word I've been saying. Can't you do anything without depending on something else? We must think for ourselves and make our own decisions. Only then will we be truly free. Ryudo is still fighting now. Ryudo has been tainted by the horns of Valmar, but the contamination will not stop with him. It will continue to spread. This is dangerous. It may be necessary to exterminate Ryudo now, before the darkness has the chance to grow. No, I will not allow this. Ryudo must not die. Why? You wanted to kill Melfis, why not Ryudo as well? The danger present is the same. Life, too. Life must be honoured. It alone burns brighter than a thousand suns through this eternal night. It alone is our hope. 
Malthus I hated, for he despised life, and thus wasted his own. There is no honour in a wasted life, for hope soon withers and dies. I do not understand. You will understand soon enough, dear. Soon enough. Bittersweet end to a battle. Even a battle as stunning as this one. Oh dear. Ryudo, wake up. Please. Ryudo. Even if we are able to remove the horns of the Amar from you, your soul will be destroyed forever. Ah. If you lose your soul, then everything I am doing the whole world will become meaningless. She's really going to care for him. How can I, a follower of Granus, pray to Valmar? No, to Millennia. If you can see into my soul, you will understand. Millennia, I have a favor to ask. Come out! Please, <laughs> Millennia, I must talk with you. Hmm, <laughs> Ryudo, eh? What an idiot. Got himself possessed by the horns of Valmar. Well, I guess it's their fate as brothers. Please listen to me. Please understand how I feel. Please save Ryudo. I don't care what happens to me or what happens to my body. Listen, Miss Prissy. I am the wings of Valmar. My only desire is to devour the horns possessing Ryudo. Stop it, Millennia! Ah. Such is fate, eh? Ryudo. Traveling with you was fun. Farewell. <laughs> no, I can't do it. You, you were the only one to worry about me. No one else. I have no one else but you. I want you to come back. I want you to come back as you are. Elena! Elena! Where am I? I'll be the bait to distract the horns. Elena, listen to me! That is your cue to rescue Ryudo's soul. Understood? Millennia? What is this? Ryudo is fighting! This is our only chance! Go! M Millennia? What should I... Don't be stupid! Call out to Ryudo! Quickly! Ah! Ryudo! Where are you? Come back! Ryudo! So much for Miss Demon. All I care about is to devour the horns. Millennia? <laughs> Even a demon child can learn to love. Here we go, Ryudo! Not even close. Wow, Ryudo. You did pretty good. Yes, I'm Mopus' brother after all. Not gonna get... Not, I'm not gonna give up, even though Mopus is probably gonna get picked to be the idle guardian. Power rests in a pure heart. Yes. And without a pure heart, you can't have justice. But you need to be strong to be pure. So first you've got to be strong. You've got to keep training or else you can't be pure and you can't fight for justice. Wait, Gadda. Strength isn't everything. Hmm, you think so? But I didn't say it was everything. I just said you need to be strong because Melvis is and he's cool. 
I've got to get stronger, because those guys talk about justice this and justice that, but can't do anything of cowards, really. It is so, for the world is filled with evil. Those who are weak may only speak of justice, but the powerful will deliver it. Wait, Malthus! Malthus! <laughs> I mean, you've already heard all this voice before, so you know. I'm... Why? Why did you kill her? Rena was possessed by the idol, possessed by Valmar. How else can you defeat Valmar? Even you. No, I was trying to save. The only way to remove Valmar is to kill the host. How can you say that? Didn't you seek the power of Valmar? Oh wait, no, that's the millennia. Melpis, you saw the power of the horns and craved that power. You hungered for it. That is no longer your brother. Don't be fooled. The horns are in control, not Malthus. Think it as much. Malthus and the entire village have been looking for this all along. That's creepy. To be powerful enough to defeat the inhuman, one must become like them. One must make a sacrifice. Yes, it was necessary that I be sacrificed, or Melvis became more than human, or perhaps less. No, I will not accept that. I feel for you, though. There must have been some other way. Were people to quietly submit to such sacrifice, I think it necessary. They would be nothing more than slaves. Life is comfort, joy, love, all these things, but life is also pain. Without it we do not hope, we do not dream, nor live. Valmar, do not think me a fool. Some things cannot be replaced nor mended, and upon my life I would not let them fall. Why do you seek the Divine Sword, brother? It is power you seek, tell me. Is my own not sufficient for you? Power is only a means to an end, Malthus. Why have you forgotten this as well? No, my brother, I seek justice. I seek to protect that which you have abandoned for true power, sirs. It is not enslaved. Valmar, again and again you deprive us of our hope. For this I call you evil, and I will take back what you have stolen. Yeah. You. You. I don't know what you were saying there. Either way, he's glowing like an anime superhero, so you know. Sweet. That's hopeful music.
Vida. You've released me from my suffering. Thank you for saving me. As long as you resist temptation, the horns of Valmar will remain dormant within you. Valmar cannot be destroyed by any mortal power. Yes, you can only rely on the power of the divine. For however was I desperate to possess the power to destroy evil, to destroy Valmar. In doing so, I gave myself to the horns and bartered away my soul. Man was not meant for such power. What use would we have for it? What purpose? To be ever cautious of power, to be just in its use, this alone is important. Now this. Vida, thank you. You don't wake up. Oh, Carmus, I know that I betrayed you and relied on Valmar's power, but I do not care what happens to me. Only, please save him. He's awake. Uh, Alina? Hudo, you're awake. And your arms are all messed up. Jesus, I never noticed that before. Hudo! Hey, what's with the tears? He's embarrassed. Elena, you did it! Thank you! Huh? What a timely door opening. Hudo, are you alright? Fine. Looks like I'm okay after all. But the horns are still in me. What happened? Alina, did you do something? Melody used her powers. The power of Valmar is what saved your life. I was helpless. I could only watch. Millennia sealed the power of the horns inside of you. You will be fine as long as you do not succumb to the horns. You need to stray stay strong, Yudo. Jesus Christ, I'm messing up lines all over the place today. Strange. I thought I heard your voice though, Helena. Tio, so you stayed as well? Of course, Guido. We are family now. Malthus, the idol was not for the verse we thought. It does take power to save people, but that power must be used in the right spirit and with a clean heart. This I begin to see. We are the ones who run from responsibility. We blame Melfish for our own lack of will, the devious trap of our own devising. It was we who tried to find escape, before realising we had built our own prison and our jailers were none but ourselves. You know, I'm sorry. I was the coward, please forgive me. Strike me now if you wish. I as well saw escape from my burdens. I as well sought release in every place but the place I should have I should first have looked. The world offers no comfort, no relief. Freedom is only in ourselves. I alone can face my past. I alone can make my destiny. Uda, take this. Token of my promise to become a stronger person. Keep it with you, I swear upon it. No man will think or act for me. Friend's necklace acquired. Oh, that's sweet! When you return, you will see that I have kept my promise. Yeah, sure thing. Ryudo, I'm serious. Miss, now I see the truth in what you said. Ideals will survive if people keep believing in them. No one can take them away. Let's head out. The Divine Sword lies to the east across the sea. Well, that's uh, 
been quite alright, hasn't it, this particular recording session. We uh, we reached the island, we found out what happened to Ryudo, we crossed a very long mountain path, we finally faced Melfis, we beat him down, and Ryudo got possessed by the horns and Millennia sealed the horns inside him. What will happen now? You'll have to keep tuned to find out. Anyway, as always, I'm the Predicted Cyborg. Thank you very much for tuning in to another episode of Grandia 2. There's a bunch of episodes, because this will cut down into quite a few. Uh, obviously, I do this for fun. I do this to enjoy myself. I do Grandia 2 especially because this is a game I grew up on, and I love the hell out of it. I want to share it with more people, because I find it's one of those uh, lesser known about gems from the Dreamcast era. So yeah, if you like what I do, Share my videos, like, subscribe, do all those things that the content creators and the YouTubers tell you to do. Otherwise, you know, sit back, relax, have fun, enjoy my videos, I hope you do. But as always, all that's left me to say is thank you and good day.